Curious about metal spinning? This video will give you a quick overview of what it is, why you might use it, and the basic tools and materials. Hello! I assume you're watching this video because you'd like to learn a little something about metal spinning. Technically, metal spinning is the forming of metal while it's spinning on a lathe. Pretty self-explanatory, right? It's been done nearly the same way for hundreds of years. While there are still many industrial shops offering metal spinning services, there are very few individual craftspeople that use metal spinning. But why would you use it and how might you get started? It's a very efficient way of forming round metal objects as opposed to hammering them into shape. You can quickly either make nearly identical shapes or creative one-of-a-kind pieces. Let's go over some of the basics. These are a few examples of the range of forms possible through metal spinning. In my own work, I tend to work with smaller forms because I'm making either wearable pieces or small tableware. These are some examples of basic metal spinning tools. Each one has a specific job that it does best. Check out my other videos on these tools for lots more information about them. These are a selection of the forms that the spinning metal can be shaped to. They are called chucks. The metal can be spun all the way against the whole form if you need multiples of the same form. They are typically made of hard maple or machined metal. Now I'll show you how I typically spin a basic form. Hi up there. Okay, so I've got the aluminum set up in the lathe. It's already annealed, which means it's been softened, and then I put a lubricant on the side that I'm gonna be pushing the spinning tool against. I'm using a uh, spoon spinning tool. I'll talk more about tools in another video, and I'll be using that as it's spinning to just push it up against this form or chuck right here. And here we go. I'm applying a moderate amount of pressure, just enough to move the metal without pushing it too quickly and causing it to wrinkle. I'm making sure that it's pressed up against the chuck or form right there so that it's well seated and won't come off. And then I'm just increasing my passes, pushing the aluminum against the chuck and then coming out and keeping the outer rim perpendicular to the axis of rotation. While spinning, it's a common thing for the blank to become out of center. And on a more involved tr spinning, I would just trim that down. But just for the purposes of this quick demo, I'm just gonna keep going here. I'm using the pin in the tool post as a fulcrum for the tool. And that occasionally needs to be moved as the point of contact shifts while you're spinning. I do have it set up that it will slip a little bit if I get too much contact, just as a safety feature. So you can see from the, the pressure on the metal that it caused the blank to no longer become round and get slightly eccentric while spinning, which happens and you can just trim that off either uh, before spinning more or um, just before you take it off the lathe and finish up the piece. Once you've reached the desired form, you just loosen the tailstock from the form and remove the piece from the lathe. This has just been a quick overview of metal spinning. Please check out my other videos for lots more information about all the different specifics of metal spinning, such as the tools, materials, safety equipment, and lots, lots more. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can hear from me when I post future videos. Thanks for stopping by.